Oh, breaking news, Roughnecks. Everybody's favorite man girdle wearing damn little idiot known as Long Island Fraudit. Sean Paul Reyes is now having a press conference where he's claiming he's going to file a federal lawsuit against the NYPD for, because they arrested him because he broke the law. And be honest with you, his last arrest video, he, he could have got charged with more. Just saying. But, uh, yeah. Oh, he has gone full freaking Chilita. He has. He has gone full chili now. He's actually going to sue people for him screwing up. Talk about an attention whore. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. Are you going to leave? Can you calm down? I'm yes, very calm. I am. I, for what? A warrant to search my property? Yeah, do you have a. What does that sign say? Reasonable suspicions believe that you are recording right now. It's a crime to be filming inside of Wrong. a police station. Wrong. It is. He just told you that it wasn't. Right, right he just, just told you. The I'm lieutenant just, just said that it wasn't. It that sign is not a law. It's not. It's a law in this building. Are you recording it? Yeah, I'm taking pictures and video no, for my safety. Just, you know, no, you have to shut it off. It says right here, members, that's supposed to record me. So if you have to record, you have to step out. This is 100% public. This is a public lobby. This is a public lobby. I'm going to ask you to de-escalate a little bit. Uh, you don't get to ask them to do shit. They were ready for your dumb ass. That's why he's got a Miranda waiver card right behind his shield. I'm going to ask you to de -escalate. Step outside. Because then it's handcuffed afterwards. Right. So step out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't hey, get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Somebody's fat ass just got handled. I'm going into my building. Yeah, we pay for this building. That's right. You don't pay taxes, Sean. Shut your mouth. We do pay for this building. I'm getting. Don't push me. Yo, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, well, you shouldn't step up on an officer like that with a blunt object in your hand when he turns his head. You dipped. What are you pushing? What are you pushing? Put your hands behind your back. Look at the wall. All right, so put your hands behind your back. All right, so put your hands behind your back. You were looking for this. I was looking for what? This. Looking for you to take away my freedom? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in a court of law. This policy is illegal. It violates the First Amendment. It violates the New York State Right to Record Act. It violates the Municipal Right to Record Act. And as for the NYPD, we will see you in court. All right, guys. So what he's calling is a press conference isn't going to be is not being covered under any major news outlet, a real one. And this is YouTube only and whatever other social media bullshit he has. There is nothing illegal about any of this except for the actions performed by Long Island Fraud. It. That's it. The NYPD didn't do anything wrong. NYPD is allowed to restrict any part of the interior of their precincts as they deem fit. Pino Justice Pearl out. With me is Catherine Von Holt, our summer associate from the Pino Justice Pearl out. Jacob Uriel of the Uriel Criminal Defense Group. Sean Paul Reyes, the Long Island Audit. And representatives from Kick Rocks Media. It is no coincidence that today we are gathered in a park named for Thomas Paine, the first person to make a full-throated argument in favor of American independence and the freedoms that would eventually become enshrined in our Bill of Rights. We are here to celebrate that Bill of Rights and to celebrate a fierce and brave advocate. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. My, my sinuses. It's... Wow. Sorry. For the First Amendment. Sean Paul Reyes, also known as Long Island Audit. We are here to celebrate the First Amendment. We are here to peaceably assemble in Thomas Paine Park. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because where you were assembled right now, you are perfectly legal to assemble there. You have the you have all the free speech and right to record that you want to because of where you're at. That is public property. A police precinct is not. We celebrate Sean Paul Reyes's right as a member of the press 
to record public officials in their public duties. Uh, yeah, I got bad news for you. A police officer is not a public official. But most of all today, we celebrate our First Amendment right to petition the government for redress of grievances. Exactly. And, and that's what you should be doing. Going into a police precinct and acting like a jackass and a stubborn little man girl, man girl wearing a car bra needing damn piece of trash and a snitch. Yeah, that has absolutely nothing to do with redressing your government. What you are doing, sir, is perfectly legal. What Sean does is perfectly illegal. But carry on. Because Sean has been aggrieved. And this morning, we petitioned for redress. As many of you know, Sean was arrested in April in the 61st precinct while waiting in line to obtain a complaint form. Uh, bullshit. He was arrested because while waiting in that line, he was exercising his First Amendment right to record public officials in their public duties. Again, a police officer is not a public official. He's not elected. He's not appointed. He's hired. He was arrested because the New York Police Department has a policy allowing its officers to arrest people if they are recording in public precinct lobbies. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Absolutely not, sir. He was not arrested for that. And I'm pretty sure if you were if I had access to his booking sheet, it would not say anything about him being arrested for filming. He was arrested for trespassing and disorderly conduct because his conduct was disorderly. He did not leave the premises when he was instructed to by a duly authorized representative of said government building. Swing and a miss strike two. They have written the policy into the administrative guide and signs in every precinct forbid the public from recording there. Yes, it's called an executive action. But this policy is illegal. No, it's not. It violates the First Amendment. No, it doesn't. It violates the New York State Right to Record Act. No, it doesn't. It violates the Municipal Right to Record Act. No, it doesn't. And if that isn't enough, it violates the New York City Citywide Administrative Procedure Act. No, it doesn't. The city has long known that this policy is illegal. Nope. And it has done nothing to rein in the NYPD. The NYPD says it needs this policy to protect the identity of those waiting in line in a precinct's public lobby. But precincts have plenty of private space. Sensitive witnesses do not come in through the front door and wait for a detective before a crowd of strangers. In truth, the NYPD bars recording in precincts so that it can control what video comes out of precincts. You're, you damn straight they are. You damn straight, because who who do we have in precincts besides besides uh, those that are under arrest? Let's see. We have victims. We have victims of violent crime. We have victims of sexual assault. We have underage victims of sexual assault. We have witnesses of some set of same set crimes. We have underage witnesses. We don't need Reyes's fat ass putting their images all out all over YouTube putting their lives and their health in danger so he can make a few bucks to keep his little wifey happy with his fat ass. And second of all, the commissioner for the NYPD made that order, signed that order. It is perfectly legal. It was run through their damn attorneys. They looked at it. The damn cooperation council looked at it. It was good to go. It does not violate the First Amendment because the Supreme Court has already ruled that a government building, the interior of a government building, is a limited to non-public forum. Even if it wasn't, it would be subject to time, place, and manner restrictions, which is up to the people that run that building, not fat-ass little bitch snitches like Reyes who spent all but five days either in the hospital or in bitch watch his entire term in prison. What a clown. In 2018 and 2019, the NYPD provided over 14,000 instances of body-worn camera video to district attorney's offices in order to prosecute New Yorkers. But it only provided 212 videos, videos to the CCRB, to the CCRB in 2020 to investigate misconduct against 
police officers. Well, I seriously doubt there was as many cases of misconduct against police officers as there were criminal prosecutions in New York. Swing and a miss, strike three. The NYPD has failed to meet its obligations to provide body-worn camera to investigative agencies, and so individuals like Mr. Reyes must protect everyone's rights by recording officers. In 2021, Latino Justice identified 181 officers who had lied to the CCRB during their interviews. What does that have to do with Reyes breaking the law and not wanting to own up to it? The only reason he went into those precincts anyways because he was catching shit from all the other New York frauditors who were calling him out because he was going to all these other parts of the country and doing it there. And he was doing it there so that he could get more clicks and views and get more money. And how is it before he even went and got arrested, he already had his freaking legal fund eBay page already set up before he even went in the precinct. You tell me he's fighting for rights and I'm going to tell you you're full of shit. It's about money. And I got news for you, Sean. The black ain't slimming on you. Many of these lies were only found out because of a video or audio recording by a civilian, not the officer's body-worn camera. And some of these encounters took place in police precincts. If police bar you from recording them, you have no means to hold them accountable. Yes, we do. We have plenty of means to hold them accountable. Sean Reyes is not needed. Are you a paid actor, sir? Just out of curiosity. And if anybody knows who this idiot is at the little... His little uh, made up po his little makeshift podium there. Please let me know because I got a feeling that he is a freaking paid actor. We filed this lawsuit for accountability, for change, and to protect the First Amendment. We seek no damages, only an injunction against this unlawful policy. It ain't gonna happen because the Tenth and the Fourteenth Amendment would not allow an injunction to take place. How is it you two, you three idiots right there are supposed to be speaking about the law, but you know absolutely nothing about the Constitution? Wow. I would like to introduce Jacob Ariel of the Oriel Criminal Defense Group, who will introduce Sean Paul Reyes. That's spelled D-I-L-L-I-G-A-M, Billy Gap, and it means, do I look like I give a fuck, Billy Gap? No, we don't. We've had to listen to Sean's mouth enough. I mean, I make enough videos on his fat ass, and it I don't want to hear his voice anymore. Thank you. So, uh, again, I'm Jacob Uriel, and I'm... Uh, hey, Jacob, why were you fired from the prosecutor's office? I was a criminal defense lawyer on the criminal case. Obviously, with an open criminal case, there's only so much I could say. But what I... Then y'all probably shouldn't be having this press conference, and I think... It might be a little pre be a little bit premature to file a federal lawsuit before the criminal case is even disposed of. Just a suggestion, you know. I thought you would know that being a bar card carrying attorney, right? Why were you fired from the prosecutor's office, Jacob? I will tell you is that Sean and I have every intention of fighting that case to the end. And whether that means the DA drops it, or it means that a judge dismisses it, or it means that the people, and Sean wears the we the people hat, are going to... Yeah, but it should read me the people. You know, have a jury verdict. We're going to take it to the end, and, and we're going to make sure that Sean gets his day in court. And I'm confident that the people will uh, hold Sean not accountable for any kind of crime. You mean, so you're expecting the people to, to hold police officers accountable for what you say are their crimes, that you expect the people of New York to not hold him accountable for his crimes? Wow. Because there is no crime that was occurred here. Yes, there was disorderly conduct and trespassing. He filmed it. We saw it. He did it clear as day. How fucking stupid are you? How did you even get a job in the prosecutor's office in the first place? I want to know how you got through law school and even passed the bar exam. There's a crime that was essentially created as an end run around New York statutes. And I think that's going to come out in court. Thank you. And, uh, sorry, let me introduce my client, Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 
do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did it like five times. Do it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Uh, Sean, if you don't start wearing a bra, dude, you're going to have to seriously get them puppies augmented. I want to thank, first and foremost, my attorneys. They're doing an amazing job on the federal side and the, the state side uh, with the criminal charges and the federal lawsuit. As my attorney stated, we're not seeking any damages here. We are trying to right a wrong that has been ha that has been uh, perpetrated on me by the NYPD. This is not just about my rights. This is not about the individual. This is about we the people's rights. Uh, okay, question. If you are so righteous in what you were doing, then why did you have your legal eBay fund set up before you even went and got arrested? And how much of that legal fund did you use for your vacation to Hawaii to go fraud it there? Seems relevant. You know what that's called, don't you? You know what that's called, right? If you used any of that legal fund money, you know what it's called, Sean? It's called fraud. I appreciate each and every one of you watching who support my channel from not across, not only across this great country of ours, but across the world. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming here to support me here today. I truly appreciate that. I promise you, I will do everything in my power to hold the NYPD accountable. As my attorney stated, they did a great job explaining everything, but I... No, they didn't. Neither one of them. If the dude in the blue tie and the dark suit is an attorney, he is piss poor. He should get his money back because he doesn't even know the difference between the constitutional amendments and state law. Was recording for transparency and accountability purposes. to access Again, who appointed you this position to go in and hold anybody accountable? Where, where do you receive this power from and do not say we the people of the fucking Constitution? Besides my First Amendment right. For three you don't have a First Amendment right in a damn non-public forum, Sean Paul. Here's now the NYPD has been running amok, doing what they want, violating our federal rights, state rights, and municipal rights under the municipal law. Right to you forgot to say civil rights. Court Act. We need to do better. The, the police department in NYPD has no legal justification for this policy. They are weaponizing the criminal statute for criminal trespass in order to take my freedom away. They are not only doing that, they are conspiring with each other. If you want to stop, if you're tired of being arrested for criminal trespass, Sean, stop trespassing. In order to... Um, create to, to keep me in, in jail longer and deny my right to a desk appearance ticket by uh, applying for order protection. When is a police officer, a, a uniformed police officer armed, uh, apply for an order protection against the cameraman? You mean a convicted felon, right? You know, like me, the only difference is I don't have any violent convictions in my past. You do. I bet you thought that made you real hard on the yard, didn't it? What did you last about five days before you got to run in that damn mouth? How long were you in the hospital? How'd your last federal lawsuit go, Sean? I believe it was dismissed as well. And then you spent, what, the rest of your time in prison on bitch watch? I'm sorry, solitary? Protective custody? Fucking snitch. I have ne never per uh, perpetrated vi violence against any law enforcement. No, because you're a bitch. An officer, I never would. I am a peaceful, independent journalist. You're a bitch. We're looking out for the rights of we the people. You're a frauditor. And I promise each and every one of you watching in here today that we will do everything that is po everything in our power to stand up for our First Amendment rights. You mean everything that's legal, right? So I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Long Island Audit. Peace. And that wasn't a police officer that applied for a restraining order. It was the damn all-you-can-eat buffet by his house. Anyway, I'm tired of this guy, uh, everybody. And as you can see, he's still running a fucking con job. They just don't stop. And you people that keep supporting them ought to be ashamed of yourself. If you want to see so much scripted shit, why don't you just kick in money to get the damn 
Screen Actors Guild strike over with. Anyway, guys, you all have a great afternoon. I'll see you all tonight. Great live stream plan for tonight, by the way. This Wrangler, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.